Greetings, ladies and gentlemen! My name is Mangs, and today I got a little bit of a treat for all of you. This is the first part of Let's Play Super Famicom Wars on the Super Nintendo. My god, this intro is so epic. Is he flipping the bird? <laughs> I just love their facial expressions in this game. <laughs> it makes no sense at all from a 2D perspective. Or sorry, from a 3D perspective. Oh my god, the silliness of the Super Famicom Wars. Okay. That intro aside, what kind of game is this? This is uh, the game that inspired Advanced Wars 1 and 2 on the Game Boy, and I guess, yeah, you know, the other Advanced Wars games. It was released in Japan in 1998, um, so I hope you guys understand Japanese, because we're going to be playing it retro style. I actually tried to find a translation patch on the internet, but I couldn't find any. Apparently, it hasn't been done yet, so, or it hasn't been done. So, um, I guess we're just gonna have to play it the standard way. But I actually know a little bit of Japanese because I played Fire Emblem. Um, you know, the old school Fire Emblem games that were, that were only released in Japan. But, uh, you know, I played Advanced Wars before, so I should be able to navigate my way around this kind of easily. I did actually play this game, like, five to ten years back, uh, just for fun. So, uh, and I have read a little bit about it. So I know a little bit about the CEOs and how things work and stuff like that. So you can play with one or two or three people. I do believe you can even play with four people. I'm not sure, but... Um, the Super Nintendo only had two controllers, so I guess you kind of pass it around, though. Anyway, we're going to be playing the... Uh, yeah, you can play with four, four players right here. There's no campaign mode in this game. There's only versus mode. You can play versus the computer or versus other humans. We're going to be playing a two-player mission. So, and uh, the CEO's name, the CEO names in this game, they're just horrendous. Uh, this guy right here is named Rudzinski, and this guy right here is named Hitler. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Uh, so, this game is very politically incorrect, but um, it actually has some ties with the Advanced Wars games. Take a look at this chick. Guess who that is? It's actually Nell. She even has good luck, so um, that's kind of fun. This guy is named Billy Gates. He's kind of the CEO that inspired Colin. He has like more money and stuff, which is kind of cool. And then you have Mr. Yamamoto. Many people speculate this guy to be Sensei because uh, Sensei is actually named Yamamoto in the Japanese Japanese version of uh, Advanced Wars 2. But uh, many people say that they don't really have any similarities whatsoever, and they sh they are actually two different people. But who knows? Could be Sensei. I don't really know. So. Um, there are some options here. I don't. I know that this is Fog of War because I'm, I recognize the texts. So uh, I do believe that you turn it off and on. I do want to play with Fog of War. These are animations, I think. And uh, normally you may you may want to not play with animation because this game has a lot of them. Seriously, there's an animation for when you load an infantry into an APC. But just for the sake of lols, we're actually going to keep them. And uh, let's go through the CEOs, shall we? Uh, there are four CEOs, normal CEOs, and three elite CEOs in this game. There are seven in total. These uh, four, uh, these four first CEOs here, they're all similar. Um, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. They have no special weaknesses, no special strengths whatsoever. And there's no CEO powers in this game, by the way. There's only the average strength of the CEO. Then we come to this uh, lovely lady here, Nell. She has a chance to inflict uh, more damage when she, whenever she attacks. And uh, one thing that should be noted in this game is that units attack simultaneously. They don't, you know, you don't get the first strike when you attack. So uh, that can cause a lot of uh, funny situations. So yeah, she she sometimes inflicts more damage. And we have Billy Gates, a ridiculously overpowered CEO. He gets 10,000 extra income, regardless of how many cities he has. Yes, I'm not even joking. 10,000 additional income. And then we have Mr. Yamamoto. Fun fact, units can level up in this game. They can level all the way up to level 5. They become better in combat by doing so. Mr. Yamamoto's strength is that his units all start out at level 2 instead of level 1. So his, his units are just better. So uh, he is actually the most challenging opponent to play against. And I think the reason why they did it, did it like this is because... 
I'm guessing the AI is, AI is not very strong in this game, so in order to give the human players a challenge, it's intended that you're supposed to be playing one of the normal CEOs, and the computer should be one of the elite CEOs. Depending on the opponent you want to face. Now, I actually really want to face Nell, but uh, I uh, uh, first of all, Sensei's team is amazing in this game. And uh, he's also considered the greatest challenge to take on, so I'm quite interested in that, actually. But yeah, I want to be playing with Fog of War, I'm going to keep all the other animations on, because they're just hilarious. And I think I want to play as Hitler. <laughs> just because, you know, he's Hitler, you know? Okay, this music is starting to drive me insane, so let's start, shall we? This music on the other hand is awesome! Sorry for singing, I can't contain myself. The Super Nintendo music is just so fucking amazing. So, um... There seems like to be a lot of cool maps to pick between here. I want to pick a map that has many different things, such as seaports and airports and all this, so we can see all the cool units. This seems like a really cool map. It has uh, four docks, or seaports, or harbors, or what the fuck you want to call them. Six airports, 47 buildings, holy shit, or cities. Very interesting. Ah, this one too has uh, six airports and four harbors. I think I want to play on um, this map right here. Looks kind of cool. No, not that one. Uh, this one right here. Four harbors and six airports. Looks to be a kind of a big map, so we'll have ourselves a good long game. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in one part, however. So uh, we'll see about that. Let's just pick this one, shall we? Oh yeah! <laughs> this game is so cool. Oh, the music is so cool. Okay, let's uh, go to the bases, shall we? We have our units right here. I don't remember what all of these units do. do, do. It's like been years since I played this game. But we have our infantry, our mechs, some sort of giant tank worth 18,000. Uh, I have no idea what this is. It costs 12,000. And then we have this thing costing 6,000. That could be the artillery, maybe? I don't know. Then we have a recon. It costs 3,500 in this game. And uh, two cars of some sort? I have no idea what these cars are. One of them could be an APC, I guess. And this 7,000. That could be a normal tank, actually. That kind of looks like a tank. Then th this has to be a rocket. Because it costs 15,000 and it looks like a rocket. And then this thing, I have no idea what it is. Could be an artillery, maybe? And that has to be the anti-air. Yeah, definitely the anti-air. And this seems to be the missiles, costing 13,000 in this game. That's interesting. Uh, by the way, the reason why it's so grey is because I'm playing with Fog of War, so the fog is actually grey, interestingly enough. Uh, okay. So, and then we have our harbor here. Wow, boats were expensive back in the day. Holy shit, 35,000 for a battleship. Holy crap, and this looks to be a cruiser. Costs 22,000, what the hell? And 16,500 for a lander, you gotta be joking me. Holy shit, that's expensive. And then we have uh, the sub, which is worth 24,000. Holy crap, that is expensive. Okay, we should... And we have our air units, we have um, a fighter, 20,000, the bomber for 22,000. And I have no idea what this is, but it looks like it can attack everything except for subs, so it looks to be a really powerful airplane. Maybe it's like a mixture of a bomber and a fighter. And then we have the Battlecopter. Good old Battlecopter. Costs 8,500 in this game, and the Transport Copter actually costs 5,500. Really weird. I wonder why... Huh. Really weird prices. And yeah, your HQ actually works like a base in this game, so you can actually build units inside it. It's something that I was a little bit surprised by the first time I noticed. Alright, let's end the turn, shall we? The first turn is always like that. <laughs> he, just, he just builds the unit, so... But yeah, Mr. Yamamoto has an amazing theme. Really looking forward to hearing it. Okay, so uh, let's enter the transport copter, shall we? And yes, there is an animation for this, I'm not even joking. And 
Oh, fuck, that's right. It actually consumes the turn of the transport whenever you move into it. Silly as it is. I can't believe this. Yeah, well, let's go capture a city, shall we? Yes, there is an animation for that, too. <laughs> this game, oh my god. We actually have enough for a battle copter. I think I, I want to do that. I want to go harass Mr. Yamamoto. Represents the people of Blue Moon. Go! 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 I'm sitting here jamming to the groove. It's just so catchy. Okay, so, well, now we know that the transport copter consumes its turn whenever you enter it, so that's interesting. Ba -ba -dum -bum. Let's go harass the shit out of that old man. We also need to capture this this city. Get used to this animation. You're going to be seeing it a lot, trust me. But yeah, we should we should be spamming infantry, don't you guys think? All right. It's I, I it's fun that we can like see what he does without actually seeing it. You know, we can hear the sounds and all that good stuff. Oh, that was really short. Okay, so I haven't really taken a look at the map, actually, come to think of it. It seems to be like there's an island over here, and Mr. Yamamoto starts out here on this big island. And I have, like, this small island, so the map already favors the computer, and I'm playing against Mr. Yamamoto, which isn't overpowered to Commander. Seriously, everything back in Advanced Wars, or in the uh, Famicom Wars, were overpowered, I swear. Anyway, let's go capture some buildings, shall we? My god. This game is so clunky and outdated, yet so much fun. I love the animations. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, where should we drop this infantry? Maybe out of here on the island? That sounds like a good idea. Maybe we should save up for one of those ridiculously expensive landers. 16,500! Seriously, what went through their head when they designed landers? I can't believe it. But, I definitely understand what went through their heads when they designed this song. Well, it had to be something awesome, because the song is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, it's too tempting. But I'll stop now. Uh, okay. Oh, crap. Do, I wonder if you lose fuel if you do that. Okay, let's check. Six, 64 fuel? 64 fuel. Okay, so in uh, Super Famicom Wars, you, you don't get pe penalized for... Um, <laughs> penis. Uh, you don't get penalized for... Um, abusing... Uh, abusing Fog of War movements. You did in, uh, you used to do that in Advanced Wars 1 and Advanced Wars 2. So you could just check for units and traps. I wonder if there's like an animation if I run into a trap. That would be kind of hilarious. Knowing this game, that could very well be the case. Alright, I think we have enough for a transport. Uh, yeah, 20,000. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that looks so cool! Oh my god, that looks so awesome. Alright, we need to go camp some more shits. We should also try out some of those units, because I have no idea what they do, quite honestly. Alright, let's end the turn. Oh, did I move my transport? No, my battlecopter? I think I did. I wonder what he's doing over there. Well, he's moving his infantry. That much I can understand. He's probably capping buildings as well. Now... How powerful is Yamamoto? Um, I do believe he is... Uh, what What happened there? <laughs> His music started playing all over again, that's funny. Um, his units are about 40% stronger, I believe. Because they all start at level 2, so he's a beast of a CO. He's like Kumbai on crack. Like, Kumbai with better units than Kumbai, but his units are not more expensive at all, so he's, he's a tricky CO to deal with. Alright, we got a lander! Whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> oh my god. 
we should build more transports. And uh, you should always move your transports before loading them up, because, yeah, as you remember. It consumes their turn in this game. Go, go, Hitler! Show them the mites. I do wonder if you start capturing a city and you move away from it, will it... Do I have to recapture it in this game? Yeah, it, it seems like that's the case. Okay. That's cool. I want to save up some money and build some fighters. I'm guessing he has transport copters. What was that sound? Alright! You know, actually, when I think about it... Oh, wait, I'll, I'll take it later. Okay, so, I would like to... What? I cannot unload in the same turn as I move? Well, that's sort of a bullshit. I can only... If I move my full turn, I can't unload? Oh my... God, that's bullshit. Okay, so don't move your maximum distance, apparently. If you do, you're not going to be able to unload units. Stupid game. Alright. Now, I wonder if I... Maybe I should uh, unload some infantry on uh, Yamamoto's doorstep. You know, get some, get some fighting going. Yeah, I'm, I think I'll do that. Be a little bit aggressive. And I can't go into them if I move my full... You gotta be fucking kidding me. That is silly. So if I move my transports, their full movements, I can't load things into them. I have to, like, save a movements. Wow. This game is clunky as fuck. Alright. I say we build another... Uh, build, um... I wanna save up some money. Build some boats or something. Because God knows I'm gonna have to save money for that. Alright, anything here? It doesn't seem like he's reached this place yet. People of Blue Moon, I shall kill you. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it wouldn't actually, you know, um, if you think about Sensei, didn't people used to say that Sensei was like an unstoppable CEO back in the day? At least that's what they used to say about him. It seems like sometimes his music starts again. Weird. If they said that Sensei used to be unbeatable, and that actually kind of suits the description of Yamamoto, because he's like super overpowered in this game, so... And his name is Yamamoto, which is what Sensei was called in Advanced Wars 2, so... Hey, could be Sensei! Uh, no units yet? You know, I'll keep this infantry here, just in case he tries to steal my properties. Okay, go, go, lander! <laughs> oh, this game. But yeah, apparently it's almost impossible to beat Yamamoto because his units are 40% better. He's just so powerful, you have to... What? So now I can unload? You gotta be kidding me. I don't get how this game works, so now I'm suddenly allowed to do it? Oh, game, how do you work? Da, 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 da. Okay. Let's build a new unit, shall we? Uh, I know what I want to build. I want to build a uh, cruiser. Because I want to. <laughs> what? Why can I not enter this thing? I don't get it. Do I? Can I not do it in the woods? I guess I can't. So, it... Oh, maybe the transport copter can't land in the forests. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Ah, so that's what that's why it's behaving weirdly because it can't land in the forest, so it can't land and pick up units. Ah. I see what you did there, game. I don't really know why I built a cruiser, to be quite honest. <laughs> it's kind of a crappy unit. If it works anywhere like it did in the old, old games, it can only attack air units and subs. But hey, maybe it's gonna send some transport copters over, see? I also wonder if uh, the AI ignores line of sights in this game. Oh, hello! 
An infantry! Let's attack it! Oh, I hear transport copters as well. It seems like the music restarts every time he loads a unit into one of his transports. That's very interesting. Alright! Let's move our cruiser! And uh, let's build a... I have no idea what this thing is, so let's build it. Uh, what more can we build? Let's, let's, try, let's test out some units, because I have no idea what these things are. I'm actually quite curious to find out what this is. This thing with, that costs... Oh, crap. I could actually just check the information myself. Let's see, this looks like to be a uh, small tank, while this seems to be like... Oh! Oh, I get it! This is a medium tank, or a, a large tank. This is like a normal tank, and this is a light tank. I get it, so there's actually three versions of the tanks in this game, while well, this is a recon. Ah, then this must be... this must be the artillery then. Yeah, that definitely is the artillery. Two to three range right there. Okay, so that mystery is solved then. Interesting, I didn't need to buy it, I could have just, you know... Anyway, let's transport this infantry over to this island, shall we? We're gonna need to start taking over that as well, I guess. Go! I'm gonna get a lot of cash right now. Oh! Oh! First blood, guys! First blood. So, uh, I'm I'm supposed to deal. I'm not sure how those numbers work, but 75 is that how much I do to the infantry, and I get 45 damage back. That sounds very brutal. I don't really know how that works. Oh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, wow! I kicked his ass. Oh, are you kidding me? The hit points of the units do not appear on the overlay screen, so I have to actually check manually for hit points. You gotta be fucking joking me. <laughs> oh my god, such an old game. It doesn't even it, it doesn't even show hit points. That is so stupid. Holy crap, that is stupid. Alright, and I'm guessing I'm only allowed to unload one infantry unit at a time, too. Probably. Yep! Only, okay, there's only one place to unload them, though, but <laughs> that's still pretty silly. Oh, my god, this game. But hey, I'm unloading infantry on Yamamoto's doorstep. That's pretty cool, right? You know, I'm gonna... I think I want to be a little bit aggressive here, actually. I have no idea how good the AI in this game is, so... I'm thinking it's pretty stupid. Oh, oh, did he build an anti air? I don't know what that was, but it was something. It's not moving his infantry. Oh, there we go. I like how you can actually see his menu movements when on the units that you can actually see. All right. Wow. Wow. Let's see what this thing does, shall we? Uh, it can do. Is it an APC? No. It can't attack. Apparently. Oh, is that like a fuel truck? Maybe. Oh, I get it. Maybe the APC doesn't refuel in this game. This is the APC, probably. Ah, I get it. So, so the APC and the fuel truck are two. Like, I think maybe they. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Oh my god, I love it. What? Ah, uh, you kidding me? You're telling me that I can't. Oh, it already has an infantry in it, that's why. Well, it's fine. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. I thought it was some bullshit that I couldn't load up again. But okay, and I just need to remember, I probably can't re uh, load in mountains either. Alright. 
Let's see, which kind of units should I build? I'm gonna save up some money, uh, maybe for a fighter or something, or I don't know, maybe another lander. Oh, I have a transport copter down south as well, I should probably check that out. Just gotta finish capturing these two cities first, and then I also need to remember my battlecopters, because there's no units, there's no button I can click to go through idle units, so I have to actually manually check every turn. Alright. So let's go unload. Let's go take this uh, this harbor here, shall we? Wah! And we need to remember to harass Mr. Yamamoto. There's two infantry here. Let's take down this guy. Beep, 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 beep. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm fucking up good. I'm guessing it works the same way here with capturing and stuff, so that, um... He kind of struggles with capturing if his infantry are on low hit points. Oh, he's doing stuff. I think he's capturing stuff. Oh, hello. Thanks. Well, as long as he doesn't have anti-air, I'm good. What's that? Oh, that seems to be maybe an NPC? I don't know. Oh, hello, transport copter. Interesting. Wow. Wow. Let's build a fighter, shall we? I have no idea what. Okay, I actually want to see what happens when you supply infantry. <laughs> he threw a bread in his mouth. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Oh my god, this game is just wonderful. Okay, you know what? Let's go capture his airport. Then we can start building air units here. I don't think there's anything I can do about it too. Oh crap, he has infantry here. Well, good thing we brought another infantry. We're being really aggressive here. Let's uh, block the bridge, shall we? Oh, a trap! Oh snap, didn't expect that. Well, that's at least they didn't have an animation for it. Would be kind of silly. Alright, let's go capture this uh, harbor, shall we? And bring some more infantry down to the island. Let's see, uh, how's the fuel levels on this? Uh, it actually only has 23 fuel left, so we should actually refuel it. I don't... I'm not sure if it shows an icon when uh, you're low on fuel either, so you probably have to take care of that yourself. So, uh, yeah, I gotta be a little bit careful here. I'm gonna check my other transports as well. Maybe the... Let's see, this one has 51 fuel left, the cruiser has 85 fuel, so that seems to be in great shape. There we go. Okay. Alright, Yamamoto, your turn. Oh, so he's actually capturing stuff now. Oh no, it's blue moonified! Not good, not good. Hmm, maybe I should try to interrupt this capping. I think I'm gonna have to need more units if I'm gonna do that. Preferably bombers as well. But once I take over that airport, maybe I could build like a bomber in this territory. That would be kind of funny. Da 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 so he's not attacking me with his infantry, that's kind of curious. Why does he do that? Well, he's definitely building some units down there. Okay. Let's uh, refuel our transport, shall we? Because it's getting dangerously low. There you go. <laughs> oh, that looks so silly. My god. Ooh. Oh my god, that's so cool. You know what? Let's build one of these. I have no idea what they do, but I'm gonna build them. Apparently, they can attack everything, so they seem pretty good. Alright, we need some more units over here. Let's see. Uh, maybe we should try and interrupt this capping. 
Oh crap! I was actually that was the, uh, that was the wrong button. Oh well, never mind. Well, let's uh, finish capturing. It seems like capture is on top there. In Advanced Wars 2, you you always have attack on the top, then you have capture further down. Okay, we could pick up these two infantry once they're done capturing the cities. Keep keep the pressure on. All right, so. Um, Battlecopter. What should we do about it? Maybe we should attack this thing? I have no idea what it is. It's like a... This is a medium tank, I think. Ow! Okay, so... Note to self, medium tanks are actually pretty good against battlecopters. Interesting. And cruisers can move on shoals. Mm, I like that. I'm just gonna keep this here, actually. Use it as anti-air and stuff like that. Maybe I could just move it over here. Can uh, tanks actually attack cruisers in this game? Yeah, they can, but they do almost no damage whatsoever, so... All right, wonderful. Well, let's capture this harbor, shall we? Then we can build boats here. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Yay! Beep, beep, beep. All right, let's save some money. Maybe we can uh, afford a battleship next turn. That would be kind of cool. And again, he keeps capturing for the blue moon, people. I like that there's actually a blue moon on the on the flag. That's kind of cute. <laughs> it's the damaged infantry. It's gonna take forever to capture that building. Go, 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 go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh crap. Oh my god. Yamamoto is overpowered as fuck. Did you guys see that? Crap! That's brutal. Oh, he just combined his hit infantry, and he's he's now he's attacking me actually. Ooh, wow! Five hit points on each side. Yeah, he's probably. Why didn't he attack me there? That's really weird. APC. I wonder if he's built any anti-air yet. Well, I can hear something heavy coming our way. Alright. Wow. Wow. Alright, so Yamamoto's troops are really powerful. Um, let's see, this guy has... He's currently camping. Maybe we should try to interrupt him? Oh wait, that's the damaged infantry. Oh well. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't really didn't do anything. Oh Well, we can cap this city at least. Wonderful. Oh crap, I keep ah, oh, I keep for forgetting that I can't see their hit points. Well, let's build an airplane here, shall we? Huh? What? Why can I not build anything here? That's weird. I can build stuff here. So why can I not build anything here? That's weird. Maybe I need some units close by or something? Huh. That is very, very, very strange. Uh, I also need to watch my fuel levels. Um, really, really weird. Oh well. Let's load up the boats. We also have a fighter now, but I'm not sure if he has any air units, though. I should probably have, should have checked that beforehand, shouldn't I? Oh well. Let's keep uh, let's just keep attacking his infantry, so he'll have a hard time uh, capturing this. Oh, they're so cute. Battle animations in this game takes a surprisingly short time to complete, like, compared to the other animations. Ah, oh, yeah! The bomber fighter is coming! I should probably build a... Hmm, I'm tempted to build a sub, but I think what I should do is I should build a lander. And I should load... Can I load up tanks and landers? Yep! Wonderful. Then maybe build a... Uh, hmm, what else can I build? Rockets, maybe? Sure. Sure, I'll take it. 
Oh, let's build. See, can I build anything? No, I can't. What the hell is this shit? I only s like the screwdriver only appears on these icons right here. I don't know why can I not build anything here. Maybe you can only resupply stuff here. I don't know. Maybe I need to bring one of my own irons over there. I don't know. This game is clunky. Very weird that I can't use those airports and docks to actually build units. Well, have fun with that. Oh. Well, it's gonna take some time to actually capture those things, though. That's good for me. Hey! <laughs> that looked pretty awesome. They're like having a tug of war up there. Oh crap. Yeah, that's my. Oh my god, Yamamoto is overpowered as fuck. Holy shit, he's overpowered. He does so much damage! Oh, Hitler does not approve. Well, I'll soon have my bomber fighter at you. Actually, I should be sending my fighter and my cruiser uh, south because uh, I actually I actually suspect he is uh, trans. Yeah, he's definitely transporting infantry across the ocean, so I need to be careful. They have nothing to do up here anyway, so. Oh, he's building boats! Cool. We definitely. You know what? We should build a sub. We should definitely build a submarine. But uh, if I do, if I do this, I'm gonna end the turn. Aren't I? Wait, wait, what? Yeah, I can't do this. Cool. But now I can't build a fucking sub, so that's a little bit annoying. Well, let's send the fighter south, shall we? I don't want to send it on the land though, because it could be anti-air. All right. Let's just keep damaging infantry, shall we? Seems to be a pretty good strategy. And we can actually finish capturing this building. At least it's gonna give me some income until it takes it back, so... I'd say it's a good investment. Alright. Should probably send, uh... What I could do, it seems to... It, it, it doesn't seem to have as many units down south. Maybe I could transport some infantry over there. I also think these transport copters are running dangerously low on fuel, so we should probably bring the fuel truck. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna go camp this airport uh, right here and see if I can actually build something from it because I have a. I'm, I'm starting to suspect that you can't really build anything from other than the buildings around your HQ, which is kind of silly, but. Well, he's gonna capture these buildings now. There's not much I can do about that. Oh well. <laughs> that looks so silly. I like tug of warring. That's so cute. The infantry in this game is just cuteness overload. Ah! Jesus Christ, Yamamoto. Someone go nerf him. My infantry has no chance whatsoever. <laughs> Hitler looks funny when he's angry. Oh crap, I lost my mission. That's not good. Well, we have our fighter bomber incoming, so... Okay, I think that uh, this part has been long enough already, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm, I'm gonna test up my stealth fighter, or what I call it a stealth fighter because it reminds me of one from Advanced Wars Dual Strike. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll test it out and then we'll end this part. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll see how it goes. Ooh! Holy shit, this thing is strong! Cool, I like it. So, uh, yeah! 
What can I say? This game is actually a lot of fun. You know, it's fun to play the old school version of Advanced Wars. So, um, if you guys want to see more of this, then please let me know in the comment section. Um, if not, this is just going to be sort of a one-off. But um, if you want to see more, then I'll continue this battle and I'll see if I can't beat Mr. Yamamoto. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, last from the past. I've been, my name is Min Banks, and I'll see you next time.